Hi guys, this is Rahul here and I'm from myview.rahulnavy.net which is my blog and um, recently I published one book around Angular uh, that is um, completely Angular that means getting started with Angular Chase is the book name uh, which you can find on the Amazon.com soon after publishing the book uh, I have been receiving uh, lots of uh, feedbacks and comments on my uh, blog as well as on my email saying that uh, you know, that's fine and uh, this is really interesting but uh, we need something which you uh, uh, something meaningful in such a way like enterprise a standard uh, in the way like uh, you are using all those angular stuffs which you have displayed shown there in the book as in uh, uh, key activities <clears throat> like making any uh, .NET application or any node app node app right so uh, for those things uh, I just wanted to uh, comment it out like um, uh, there is one book already I have published uh, building single page app with ASP.NET 5 uh, ASP.NET MVC 5 and uh, Wave API using Angular you can find that on Amazon as well <clears throat> so there all the key pieces are integrated uh, building a full fledged app right uh, rather than only uh, being concentrated on uh, front end so that's the one scenario second thing which I have received as a feedback is like um, if you can uh, simply um, so as uh, some uh, quick uh, stuffs I mean uh, uh, just getting started with the angler and um, um, build a small app just around uh, uh, one hour or two hour uh, for the movie review scenario uh, with your full flow I mean just showing that uh, like how do you code and all so this is um, something uh, I mean it depends on the scenarios what you want to achieve actually so sometimes it happens like if you want a full fledged scenario like Wave API and backend in place then two hours is not um, such a good thing so <clears throat> uh, let me open that um, so here what I would do is basically I prefer uh, for writing any um, JavaScript as app as WebStorm as you can see here it's already open so this is my getting started with AngularJS app which you have already seen here and this is uh, this is part of AngularJS book which uh, I have made that uh, but uh, for in this case uh, I would be thinking like since that particular question came out from a .NET book uh, let's uh, build the same within Visual Studio so let's get started and here is the thing uh, before starting like uh, I'll be dividing this video in uh, a bunch of minutes I mean uh, likewise splitting the I'm planning to finish it by two hours but uh, what I'm planning as well is like uh, uh, dividing the steps in uh, around 10 to 15 minutes so that it won't be a bandwidth problem when you when you guys are seeing that video so uh, let's get started so I don't know whether I have a timer set up here or not how many minutes has been done okay this is three minutes only okay that's cool so I would be preferring okay web only ASP.NET web application and here is the thing let me minimize this here is the thing I would say like uh, movie review demo how's that and um, let's create the project this this is essentially does is like it will give me all the steps uh, I would need uh, or from the boilerplate uh, code like uh, all that uh, templates and all right I could choose that empty uh, project and go ahead with that HTML5 app and all so this entirely depends on your your things like uh, but um, uh, from the bootstrap perspective and all the HTML perspective I thinking I'm, I'm, I'm going with that MVC pro so let's pick up this app and let's click it okay um, behind the scenes it will uh, just create all the entire infrastructure it will bring in the entire infrastructure in place for you and uh, this is just uh, just bear for two three minutes with me uh, this is just creating the project behind the scenes in the meantime let me show you this project so this is completely uh, a JavaScript app, JavaScript app uh, with a uh, few node modules are in there so these pieces I have already explained there on my blog as you can go there and um, see that uh, 
there is a link on my blog getting started with angular chairs and uh, one post around that also so that will give uh, give you a glimpse around that like how it is being drafted and what is the uh, actual things in place and what is what are the things which is being covered so this is the thing so i'm sure you will be uh, navigating around this uh, my blog and seeing that let's see that whether that uh, particular piece is created or not it's still creating all right so it, it will take some time i mean it looks like my pc is a bit slow i was talking about this app as well so let's quickly launch this guy and if i can show you like how this looks like so you see this i launched this and this is currently running on local host 8000 so if i go ahead and um, simply say local host 8000 so this will launch me this uh, my application which is being written for that the book getting started with angular js that's the one thing uh, so here it's all angular stuff so uh, i mean you can go around flip around and post new movie log in can do register this is not only uh, limited to these many functionality there are uh, many other functionality but um, i mean from the menu sake i am uh, keeping them aside like those are activities so that's okay so let's see this this template is created so this is the default template right and if you just uh, quickly run around so it will look around this so let it launch and let's see that uh, whether everything is fine or not from the first demo perspective so as you can see this is hosted on 25.322 so this is the default port which is given by the express id right uh, for this particular project that's okay let it launch uh, i i actually quickly prefer to stop the debugger and, and let it launch itself so this is how that um, simple mvc app will look at look like like about contact page and application page like so we just need to do something around here and uh, quickly get started with some uh, movie review pieces like so what i usually prefer here is uh, whenever i get started with any app so i usually get started with some um, um, some demo data right so for that um, um, what i would do is like uh, create one uh, data folder here let's say data and let's create one javascript file data.js right all right so it's uh, created and um, in order to get started with uh, i need some kind of um, architecture here like uh, so what i usually prefer is like i already have data created like um, so you can see here my link pad is getting open and i will just uh, grab some data which i have already created let's say this will give me that picture right okay what do you want here is like uh, so this will be my column here like id movie name director and release here and movie review so that that would be uh, good for me right so here what i do is like uh, simply have some chess on here and uh, let's say id ID would be uh, okay. D, D is a small gaps, and uh, then I would have movie name, director name release here. So let's give it. Uh, I would prefer. 
prefer to have camel casing than um, pascal here. This doesn't look good. Let it be. Then movie name. So let's give it Titanic. here let's give it some string value we'll put them later director name one more thing was that um, let's suppose for now uh, you just put uh, number of reviews let it be integer only let's say 300 reviews and uh, what was that um so james cameron you need as a director name and uh, 1997 was the release here that's okay so okay so we are done with our data and all so now you can repeat it and wrap it is in array as well so this that's okay i mean but for now let's say like where here assign it to mock data equals this so that's that initialization problem gone right now let's do some formatting here that looks okay so this is done one piece and uh, let's fix this view uh, let's index page itself um, this is okay here um, I would like to say here is uh, getting started with angular.js that's okay sounds good and some small thing like uh, building movie review app in just two hours how's that doesn't look cool but that's okay mm -hmm. uh, I don't need this one so this this is the thing which you can uh, get advantage of that it has given me by default all these bootstrap templates right so you can just modify this uh, template as per your things like uh, like you do not want this guy here uh, rather than that uh, here we can say like uh, so currently you see this architecture how it was like um, here it is saying uh, asp.net so this will be uh, a building movie review will come here that's okay this button we have removed and this is these are the another columns so what we can do here is this is split in a grid system so md4 md4 two things are there right so so actually three things so this is entirely 12 uh, bits grid like uh, and it is each individual column is divided into four so that is the one that is second and that is third so let's keep it and just refresh that and uh, you can see the difference here so you see this this guy is getting replaced with that and I would like to prefer some um, this guy right this jumbotron it would be nice to have some meaningful name okay and um, let's give it my blog here mm -hmm. and 
rather than this guy I would prefer to have my blog name here as that and heading would be And uh, I would prefer to have uh, these two days actually commented. I do not need that. And uh, rather than set of saying uh, four, I would directly say twelve. So that will uh, completely expand that. So now let's go and check it out. How does it look? So you see that all things have gone, well, only one thing. Here I will be pushing my data inside and um, checking that. And everything got uh, took effect, right? That's okay. Now, what else? All right, uh, so this is 16 minutes, oh, oh my God. Uh, let me quickly do one thing install angular here and then I will just pause that and uh, because this is getting heavy I will uh, I will do in another pieces so I would prefer to have angular js code and let's install that so it will uh, essentially install all the things which you will be needing for angular js development so you can see that this has been installed now you can close that let's verify that this will be in the descripts folder so <clears throat> all related libraries being installed so here is that angular and uh, one thing i would angular mark angular js and jquery whatever is that it's got installed here let's create one more folder for your uh, custom data setup or app setup I would say where you will be placing all controllers and models so let's say that app and uh, that's it here I will be creating my in the next module you will see that I will be doing bunch of activities in the app folder with this data JSON data which I have already created or so I'm just closing this video here and uh, you can join me for the next session uh, for the, in the next clip. Thank you for joining.